Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's go to Superstar Road Dash 5 under construction. And it is exactly what it says. The whole level builds itself from start to finish. It's a really ridiculous and difficult level. <laughs> just stay on your toes, just try and stay ahead of things as you go. And get power-ups. Be careful, just keep jumping forward, keep trying to stay in the air if you can so you can manipulate the uh, height of your, I mean, the way you fall in your jump. Uh, look at this, look at that! <laughs> that is just mean! <laughs> Wait a second, there's something in here? Yes, there is! Go up, go, 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 go! It's a Super Mario World Luigi! And there's the last star coin to level. Let's fall right down. Oh, missed the coin. But there's still more to go. More doom to face. Oh, actually no. I thought there was a little more to it, but I guess not. Um, that's fine and dandy. I guess I kind of skipped the end portion of there. Because I uh, got the last star coin. Hmm. I bet you're wondering what's past that vine, aren't you? Aren't you? Hmm. All right, here we are, and there was not really all that much to it whatsoever left, was there? Well then, hmm, maybe the stage wasn't as hard as I remember it. Maybe it was just because I had a feel for what I should be doing on the stage from my first run through the game on it. Anyway, next stage oh, is the hardest stage in the game. It might take me a couple tries to do this, but it is Superstar Dash, Superstar Road Dash Six Fire Bar Sprint. All right, do not get the power up in this box. Trust me when I say that. You will be screwed if you do, because oh shoot, I'm probably already screwed. Because these fire bars are timed in a way that you have to be through them at a certain period in, in time. So that box at the start there is nothing but a trap. Oh yeah, I screwed myself early on in the level because I didn't have uh, the right timing off of that first fire bar. Ah, and it's so, it's, it's such a tricky level because the, the timing is so tight on stuff and you still have to focus on dodging stuff. And I would like to do this successfully, just barely past the first, there we go. This sh oh shoot. I was going to say, this might be a successful run, but I might be too soon this time. It's a very, very specific timing. Okay. Focus, PK Gam. Just keep running here. Oh, oh no. Oh, dear. Oh, jeez. Oh, yep. I was a little bit off. As I said, everything is very specific. Uh, maybe, maybe I should be saving that level t until later. Because I might just be burning power-ups. Um, what I want to do on this level is beat it just once so I can like save and quit the level if need be. I should say quit the level if need be so I can restart it without having to burn power-ups. Oh shoot, in order to beat this level. As I said, hardest level in the game right here, folks. So I'm going to focus not on the star coins this time, just getting to the end of the level. Shoot! <laughs> Am I gonna make it? Okay, I made it. And you need, yeah, you actually need to have a power up at the end here to be able to break into that area to get that last star coin. And that's why I want to beat this this uh, level just once. So now what I'm gonna do is sort of cheat the level a little bit <laughs> because this level is really really mean. That's what I'm resorting to. <laughs> So what I'm going to do here is, if I take a, if I take too many hits on a run through the level, I'm just going to quit the level so I don't lose the power up. Get it? Like that. <laughs> I was just off timing right off the bat there. And now I still get to keep my PA corn. Hey, if they're going to play unfair, I will play unfair with them as well. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see how successful I will be. Okay. Oh, oh! Just singed my mustache a little. Oh! 
Okay, doing okay, doing okay. Oh! <laughs> Just make it to the end. No! Just need to make it to the end once with enough hits. I should say, with uh, surviving the run. This is such a mean stage. Just barely past. I thought I'm too late. Yep. The whole stage is going to be messed up then. Yeah, that big question mark block at the very beginning is a power-up, but because it wastes just too much time to get that power-up, it's never ever worth it. But they didn't contain a power-up that time because I was, uh, because I had a power-up, but... <laughs> Come on now. Just gotta do it once. One good run, it's... Oh wait, I was a little bit too far back, wasn't I? Dang it. <laughs> One good run. I was really close that uh, run that I had the PA, P, the PA corn the first time. Okay, no. Well, maybe it'll work out. Let's see. Because I, I, I think the bars are in the right spots. It's something that you kind of get a feel for the more you play the stage. Oh, my jump came up a little bit short there. Uh, the more you play this stage, the more you understand why certain things have to be in the certain places, and there's no way around this. You can't beat the stage unless you just barely get past that uh, first fire bar there. Alright... Like, if you were to try and weasel your way past these, it's just impossible. You need to be at full speed the whole way through in order to get past fire bars like that one there. <sighs> nope! Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Hardest stage in the game right there. Done! <laughs> Made it! Whew! <sighs> I thought that was gonna make me go crazy. Then again, I already am the crazy gaming guy. Anyway, stop Superstar Road. Dash item house, another one of these. Let's just grab that toad and get ourselves an item. Well, actually, I'm gonna probably at least cheese that first. So I've seen you hop to the middle. No, 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 not that one. Nope, nope. There we go. I'm just sort of uh, marking which. Uh oh. That other one fell. Which, which is the right one, though? Was that the right one? I was trying to mark which Yoshi. Oh, there we go. Which Yoshi was the correct one? Because, like, by throwing them to the ground, they don't go back up, of course. And that's kind of the uh, the idea of throwing them down there quickly, so you can uh, put them in their slots later on. All right. Going over to Superstar Road Dash Seven, Cloudy Capers. I'm so glad number six is done. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Big Lakitu. Big, beefy Lakitu. Oh. I need that. I really need that. They make them big so you can jump on them a little bit easier. There we go. Now, what we need is... Oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say we need a power to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna have to ditch this. Mm, hope I don't die. Oh, that, I'm probably wasting too much time here, though. Did he just leave me? Oh. Oh, then I fall in the hole. <laughs> Great. Maybe what I should do... Um, Right off the bat is use an item like uh, I guess that. At the very least, I can take a hit if I uh, end up finding that I'm wasting too much time on that first coin. But I, I would like to swap this for a fire flower if that's possible. Oh, there we go. Ha! That's especially useful. And now I can carve my way into the fuzzies and quickly get a coin. <laughs> It, that's the gimmick of the level, is that you need, you n absolutely need to have your fire power, or fire power up through the whole thing. Mm, I don't, I'm not sure if this is going to have enough time to get to the next checkpoint of sorts, so I guess we'll see. It made it. Die. 
and that probably has another power up, but I'm not going to. Oh shoot! 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 And I need to switch with another Lakitu mid air because this cloud does not have enough cloud to go forward. Yeah, that's the trickiest part. Is that you? That's why you practically need to have an item by the end of the stage to snipe the Lakitu and switch clouds because there's just not enough, um, not enough cloud power to get you to the end. All right, fireball, Lakitu, go 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 go! No 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 no! That's it's safe to flub flub around this first one here because you are really close to the second one. Okay, moving on. Go, 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 no wasting time, no wasting time. Ha ha! I didn't even need to kill you, even though I was trying to kill you. <laughs> oh! Wait, we're gonna need to kill, need to kill that black shoots. <laughs> well, at least they give me the powers that I need right at the beginning of the stage, because otherwise I would have a little bit of trouble Keeping a power up through that whole thing. I mean, keeping the necessary power up through the whole thing. Got that. Fireball. Got that. Snipe. Got that. Go, 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 go. Oh. Oh. Didn't really want to hit that, but that's okay. Okay. And now. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, go, go. Time's a wasting. Lakitu's need much death. Oh, okay. I'm gonna switch clouds right here just to give myself a little bit of extra time here to f mess around with the other Lakitu. Okay, need another Lakitu right here. Yes, there we go. The stage is mine. <laughs> At least I think. I think I've got enough time to do this now. Go, 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 go. This reminds me a lot, like, of uh, Tubular in, new in Super Mario World. In that you have to do things in a specific way. But it's a lot more fair than Tubular in that um, you you know what you need to do via the Lakitu's. But in Tubular, you didn't know where the balloons were, and that really, really, really sucked. Anyway, Super Saro Dash 8 Impossible Pendulums. What do they mean by that? Let's find out. Well, it's basically these things. Yeah, the safe parts are, oops, I was gonna say where the coins are, but not on the lowest ones. <laughs> oh! Oh, shoot. This is a lovely start. This stage is not that hard either. It's, it's one of those kinds of stages where you have to uh, simply watch where you're going and watch the pattern of stuff. It's, yeah, just take your time, have some fun. Uh, oh, I didn't take my time, but I did have some fun. I guess that's all that mattered. <laughs> all right, another try. I will try this until I get it. <sighs> Let's go. I'm pretty sure I can just like jump. Yeah, get ahead of it. Oh, 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 oh. Get ahead of that first one to save myself some time later on. Yeah. All right. And sneak my way through here. That little spin is extremely handy in that you can manipulate where you fall and when you fall. Oh shoot. Kinda of, oh, I was gonna say I would kinda of want that power up, but I want that coin even more. <laughs> you know what? Maybe what I should do is uh Why not? <laughs> I mean I'm at the end of the game here, so might as well use what I have. Let's whoop. Oh, kind of scrape my head a little bit, but I'm okay. I'm good. Still good to go. <laughs> now I can also do that to the normally invulnerable enemies to jump. Well, I should say they are... Oh, shoot. Well, now I'm kind of in trouble with that. In regards to that, I mean... Oh, oh shoot. shoot. Shoot, shoot, I want that. Really? Oh, I was greedy. <laughs> Uh, well, I only have this left as a viable power-up. The star will not be all that useful to me, so if I don't get it this run, I'm gonna have to learn the stage, I guess you could say. No, oh, poopers. 
Can I get this? No, can't get something special from that. Oh, alright, focus, PK Gam. Not a hard stage. You just have to follow your own advice of being patient, which you're not doing. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm, I wonder how, how you would get that. How, I mean, how would you get all the star coins without. Uh, red coins without taking a hit. Anyway, there's clearly something up there. Oh, wait, should I have went on the lower route? No. It's right there. Last star coin. Wait, 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 wait. That's going low. Oh, it's going at a different speed than the rest of the pendulums. Oh, boy. Um. Let's not go that way. <laughs> let's let's take this nice lower scenic route. <laughs> I'm not that interested in getting to the top of the flagpole. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. Um, depending on what the numbers are on numbers are left on the clock depends uh, changes what items you get, and they're actually set to different numbers. I didn't explain that. Uh, earlier in the walkthrough. <clears throat> and now... the final stage opens up! There it is, at the center of the star. But I'm not gonna go there just yet. And I got another star added to my save file because I unlocked it. And let's go over to the Mushroom House before I finish off. That last doozy of a stage. Wow, there's only four this time. Alright, let's focus on getting items. Focus. Two and four. This was pretty easy to, to follow. Unless I messed it up somehow. Nope, I didn't think so. It was just, uh, this was like the easy version of the pick which items are which. But yeah, I know this part's getting a tad lengthy, but I'm not going to uh, have one part for just one level and a few uh, extra stuff that I would like to show. So, let's go. Final stage of the game is known as Flying Squirrel Ovation. And actually, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have used the power there. <laughs> so get yourself an acorn. And get ready to fall. Woo! It's... Oh shoot, I lost. <laughs> this the whole stage is about gliding and falling down with the other squirrels. And you gotta collect coins along the way. And now that I know I don't need a power-up, I can just like go right to the stage. Because immediately, right off the bat, is the power that I need, like that. Now, go, go, go. Oh. Go! Ah. Alright, focus on victory this time, PK Gam. Uh, what's in this? Mm, can I get a landing here? Oh! It just went right through it! Dang it! I wanted to land so I could um, get my uh, jump power back, like jumping in the air with the. Or flying in the air, excuse me. Because I already used the flight once there, and I was that was kind of a mistake there. There we go. Alright. Crazy stage. Let's do this. Okay, just remember to utilize the power of Squirrel to your best interest. Follow the coins, follow your nose, use your Squirrel instincts. I would very much appreciate that coin. There we go. I'm gonna get back to the top of the screen, because that's always the best place to be. Well, okay, maybe not always. Whoop. Oh, no, need to get more height. Oh, shoot! No, 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 no! Aww! Oh. Oh. Poopers! By the way, I'm pretty sure that those blocks in the background form another Luigi, like the whole stage of blocks in the background is a pixelated 8-bit Luigi. If I'm not mistaken, at least one portion of the level is... It's, it's kind of hard to pay attention to that when you're focusing on the level at hand, so to speak. Yeah, you gotta use the waddle wings to uh, pave your pathway as well, because you've gotta make sure that you stay uh, near the top of the screen, if at all possible at times, because 
that gives you the best point to react. And by the way, you'll notice that you fall quicker when you are moving straight down as opposed to left and right, so take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot. Mm -hmm. Want that? I want that. There we go. Hit a waddling. Shoot! Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty mean stage, not gonna lie. <laughs> It's something you have to practice, definitely. And I still, even to this very day, I still don't feel comfortable using the squirrel power-up over something like, say, the um, uh, feather or raccoon tail from other Mario games. I don't know why, there's just something about the squirrel power-up that, that just does not fit in with my playstyle, I guess you could say, and, and to the point that I just can't seem to master its intricacies, I guess you could say, I don't know. Oh, oh. And you'll notice that you gain a little bit of height on this stage because it's auto-scrolling just slow enough to be able to do that when you're gliding left and right like this. But you can't do that at places like this because you gotta catch a coin. Okay, it's two... Yes! There we go. All you needed was that height. What's in this? What's in this? Oh, 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 oh! 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 Got it. Oh, here's the Luigi formation. There it is. You don't die, PK Gam. Do not fall to your doom. Do not die. No. You're welcome. And over here, you can jump up on this and put your face on the <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> I think that's a nice little touch there. There's a little hidden platform there to be able to do that. And with that, the game is 100% complete. Well, after a little bit of cutscene. Yeah! Thank you, thank you. Where is that last save file star? There it is. And now I can enter the Toad Houses all I want to. And now, to close off this part, I would like to save, and I would like to show you a couple of other stuff around here as well. Um, going back to the main menu first, you can tell that I've got five stars on the save file, and there's also a little glowing number over there, I mean a golden number there indicating that I got all the exits. On here, as you can tell, I got, this is my first save file, I max out everything. Uh, I could do that here as well. Of course, just by going into the life houses over and over again, but uh, I'm pretty sure you know that I can reach 99, or I should say that I have reached uh, 99 before. Um, a couple things that I would like to show you in uh, closing this part is first, the Mario physics. I'm, I don't really know if you're going to be able to tell in the video what the difference of Mario physics are like. I'll, I'll try... Um, I'll try to demonstrate that, like you see... He's not sliding as much as he used to now, uh, in that in the form of momentum and stuff like that, and that's what Mario physics are like. But I really don't feel like that's completing the stage, because, you know, this is New Super Luigi U, so yeah. <laughs> and another thing uh, that I haven't showed all this walkthrough, because this is really, really broken. If you hold ZR when you are about to enter a level, and then enter that level, something will happen. Wait, what? I thought... Oh, did I hit the wrong... You gotta hold a button. Which button? Which button? Oh, there we go, there we go. It, it's, it is... I hit ZR, not ZL. Whoops. <laughs> Why did I do that? Anyway, now you've got Nabbit. And Nabbit is pretty much impervious to everything, except squishing and bottomless pits, which breaks a whole lot of levels, because you can just go right through things just like that without having to worry about taking hits off of anything. <laughs> like this stage right here. Like, no, there's a fuzzy, it's just, I'm just going right through them like that. <laughs> like, what's the point of playing through a stage like this? You could do this uh, pretty much anytime you want as well, so it... Nabbit is like easy mode, basically, in this game. See, like, I, I went through the stage without any issues whatsoever because Navit is ridiculously broken. And you can see his flag on the flagpole there. That's also 
a little bit different as well as the endings a little bit different though you can't have like powers and stuff like that but what do you need them when you can go right through things <laughs> and with that I think I have covered everything in this game because I got five stars on my save file so with that I'm gonna end off the walkthrough yeah what do you think about that? I'm sorry, I can't, I can't make any more parts to it. There, there quite literally is nothing more to the game in, uh, like, remember in New Super Mario Bros. U, there was, um, uh, like, extra stuff in, like, boost mode and stuff like that. Yeah, there, there isn't, there isn't that sort of thing in this game. It's just the story mode, and that is it. And with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next walkthrough. Well, that was an awkward ending. Then again, what walkthrough of mine doesn't have an awkward ending? Anyway, since it's over, I can finally go outside, as you can tell right here. Well, maybe it's not such a good idea. It's 22 degrees, snow still on the ground, so yeah, maybe I should go back inside and start working on the next walkthrough. Sound good? Good. Okay. See you then.